Twilight Zone, 1985, Season 2, Episode 10, The Toys of Caliban. Theme from the Twilight Zone, Heartbeat, Toby, Toby. Mary, Ernest, it's so quiet. Is he all right? He's fine, dear. He's just plain. You know I worry, Ernest. I know, dear. Bring dinner. Bring. Dinner's ready, Toby, Toby. You hungry? Donuts, Mama. Donuts? No, no, son. You had donuts yesterday. Come on, Toby. You like chicken. Toby, Toby, come on. Donuts, you eat the dinner. Your mama cooked. Maybe for dessert. If you eat your dinner, Toby, chew your food, donuts. All right, Toby. Let Daddy get the picture. Donuts, donuts, bring it, bring. He didn't look at the picture. Mary did it without the picture. He never, d- yes, he has. It's only donuts, Ernest. You know how he loves them. Mama, Toby, Mama, donut. Choo choo. Wimping, Toby, shh, hurts, Mama. Toby, Toby, all right now, Toby. Mama's going to take the temperature. Hurts, Mama, hurts. I, I was afraid of this. It says two donuts, two. He only had two. If he didn't, if he doesn't need to see the picture anymore, he could have had another hot dozen. As we put, put him to bed, he eats anything. He can fill his mouth. Mary be burning up. Call the nice Dr. Keller. I know he'll come. He doesn't come make house calls anymore. No one does. He'll have to. Tell him it's an emergency. He's saying what, that the, what emergency rooms are for. We've been through this. Tell him. Just tell him. Tell him what. Mama, please. Are you, call, are you calling Dr. Keller? I'm calling an ambulance. He can't. Screaming. Is he all right? What's wrong with Toby focusing? He pumped his stomach. He'll be fine, but he should stay overnight for observation. Overnight? Unnecessary? Well, he's very uncomfortable away from home. Don't worry. Take good care of him. Choose one of those colour terms in comic books, games. No. He must stay. He must have a private room. My wife and I will stay with him. No television, no comic books. Very well. Make arrangements for the room. Good morning. Mr. and Mrs. Ross, I am Maris Kemp. Uh, you must this be Toby, Toby. Toby. I miss Kemp, Toby. Toby seems to be just fine this morning. They like to take him home. I was sure the doctor would be discharging him shortly. In the meantime, I'd like to have a little chat with you. Chat? I think we would like just have her to take our son home as soon as possible. I understand that. But I do have a few questions. I, I with children and family services. In regards to your son's schooling, we have no record of any Toby's Toby's retarded. We don't understand. He doesn't understand. He's a very special boy. He's very excitable. I wasn't talking about all we curriculum. You know, don't you, that even when the most severely retarded children can be educatable, there are special classes for children like Toby. I actually do appreciate your concern. We refer to care for a son ourselves. He's very suggestible. He's a sweet boy, but doesn't understand. You made such great strides with Treating special children like Toby. You can't, we can teach him almost anything, Ernest. What? No, Toby, pictures. Give to, no pictures, Miss Kemp. It's all right, I'll read it. There you have it, pictures. Pictures, my mouth shrieked, Toby, it's all right, Mama's here. We'll take you home. You can look at it, your toy book, don't worry. We don't allow, we don't allow him to look at such things. It's only a magazine. Nothing wrong with magazine. We have a judge of what's right or wrong with our son. Get his things, we're leaving. You can't just walk out, can't we? I feel sorry for the kid. Everything we can do, I can look into the home situation. They, they, these aren't the dark ages. I expect to be seeing a lot of the Ross family at home. Everything will be fine now. You, you go and play, be a good boy. What will we do? I know he saw it. I, he stared at it, all, at it all the way down the block. But he rings it. He has, has his toy book. I've, he's forgot. It is only a squirrel. It'll be dead if it arrives. I bury it in the backyard with the others, like I always do. Please, please remember your heart. No, I know, you know I worry. Oh, it's that woman, Miss Kent. She did bother, she won't bother us. I'll take care of it. Mary, please. He's a good boy, Ernest. He doesn't, just doesn't understand. Maybe the woman's right. Me a class, some kind of special teacher, Mary. Just a little help, just for a few days, just a couple of hours. It's not wrong with me, is it? Just a few hours. Maybe we could 
go to dinner to a nice restaurant, just the two of us. Maybe we could go to a movie. How long has it been since we've been to a movie? I know you're tired. I've been, it would be nice to have someone share, but, but we can't marry. We can't use ours, our son, our responsibility. We leave him alone for just a few hours. And no telling him what sort of things he might see, what he might bring. Bring, Mary, I made you some tea, now nice. You didn't need to do that. Where's Toby? He's still in his room, playing or sleeping, fine. Try not to worry. You know I can't help it. I'll just peek in and see if he's all right. I'll be right back, Toby. Toby, what are you? Oh, it's Mary, Mary, Mary. Doors down. I've been disturbing you, Mr. Ross. I'm so sorry about your wife, oh yes. Well, thank you, thank you, Mary. She is very tired. She's never very strong. She's never a very strong woman. All the stress. Hello, Toby. Toby, you come about Toby, of course. Don't mean to intrude in your grief, Mr. Bells. But believe you need my help by on board. There will your wife gone. I brought some literature you might want to look at. You want to put him in institution pictures. Very nice. I won't send Toby away. At least now, if you've done, I'm very tired. I'm not done. I've done some investigating since the last time we spoke. I talked to your neighbours, a former employer, and your wife's family. Unless you listen to reason, I have grounds to move Toby for your custody, I see. Now, you treat him, how do you treat him as poorly? Poorly. Almost middle of the evil. The neighbours say he's a virtual prisoner here. He never take him outside, not even for walks. He pulled out the windows of the house, this house. He don't allow him to play with other children. You don't take him to park or zoo. My wife's sister says, your wife's sister says you don't even allow him to merge a solace of television. No. No, you don't. It's all right, Permy, whimpering. She won't hurt you. No, I think you hurt him enough. Sit down, Miss Kemp. Don't say no words. Sit down. You want to take Toby from me? And maybe time you knew something about him. Dad, boo, 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 Toby. Toby? Toby, boy, loves book. Photo books, comics, magazines, anything with pictures in it. Toby, come, Toby. Come to Papa. Come here, bring my Papa. Bring it here. Bring, bring, Toby. Bring, and it's sharp. No, no. Sharp. There are a lot of sharp things in this world. A lot of dangerous things. Do you understand? I'm trying to talk to you about oh, your son's future. You're doing, you're doing politics. Prove it to yourself. Go on. All right, Toby. Bring this, Miss Ross. It's not, this is not bring screams. What is this, Mr. Ross? Some kind of miracle? A miracle? No, Miss Kemp. It's more like a curse. Why do you say that, Mr. Gross? Why has a gift? He's a talent nobody else has ever had. He saw a puppy in television one day before he got, we got rid of the set. He wanted it, so he brought it. He was dead when he arrived. He could bring back living things we forgets our well that yard. It's full of what I buried there. Do you still want to take him to the zoo? Do you still think he needs to play with other children? Most of the time he needs a picture. Now sometimes Toby just remembers. Oh, you for apology, Toby was never the prisoner. It was us, Mary and me. All right, listen, Mr. Ross, listen to me. You don't have to do be this that way. Toby still needs help. He needs it more than ever. You know what kind of help the world give him? They're looking up, run their tests, their parents sues him. They could for whatever they want. Toby won't say no. He can't say no. When they finish with him, what will the life of one little retarded boy be worth? My son, this is my home. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I can't leave and forget this. Get out. I have to pull. No. Toby, don't, mama. Toby, bring. No, Toby. Toby, don't look. Don't look. That's not mama. That's not mama. Take it away. Take it away. I take it out. I'll get rid of it. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry, Mary. The picture. He didn't understand. Doesn't understand. It's not it's my fault. Never should have. This is Saren. It's time. It's time to wait. Approaching Saren. Approaching Saren. Goodbye, Toby. You've been such a good boy. Book. Book, Toby. Look. Look. See. Ah. That's pretty. Pretty air. Yeah. Colors like a sunset. Red and yellow. Orange. Isn't that pretty? Approaching Saren. I love you. My good boy. Toby Green.